Hello YouTube, uh, this it's my app world, and I'm um, coming to you with another review with the application called Voice Sim. Now this is basically a voice manipulation. I know there's several out there, like on the App Store, but this one's the one that actually captured my attention uh, the most, and I found more productive using this. Um, it is $4.99 at the App Store. Now, compared to all the other free ones, the other free ones just give you basic uh, presets and that's it. You just keep it at that and so far that's the only one, especially for the iPad. Uh, this this application does um, support iPhone, iPad, and iPad Touches. <clears throat> but for the iPad, this one's the one I found like a lot, tons more better than any of the other ones out there. But it still has its nicks. Um, it gives you several different buttons to work with. Uh, it gives you equalizer, sampler, tape deck, presets. You can record. You can manipulate the recordings. You can go live. Um, you can see live equalizer, sampler, tape deck, presets. Um, you can do the robot voice, the breeze, the sampler, the repeat. The repeat is basically what you use when you don't have a microphone, a head a headset with a mic. And you want to like do it out without any kind of um, connection, 3.5 mm connection. Um, then you do this. It'll basically um, detect your voice when you're speaking. I don't know if you can see here in the middle. It's listening whenever I talk, and it'll repeat it back to you. Now I would show you right now, but um, it gets pretty annoying. And and with the mirroring on my computer and this. Um, yeah, uh, the developer of this app has an actual demo. If you guys want to check it out, it's on YouTube. I'll put the link on the bottom for you guys. Um, overall, I'm just here to review it. Now, no matter what I did and no matter how many alterations I did, I always found a little echo in the back. And um, let me just get out of this. This one has like the little kind of... How can I put this? You can remove the echo, but it's still there for some reason. I don't know. I don't know if it's something that I'm doing wrong or I haven't figured it out or something, but it's there. Um, you can manipulate the equalizers all you want, and they actually do work as if you were working with an actual uh, synthesizer, like right here. Um, I am definitely tone deaf but when I did a little recording and I did some alterations I actually sounded like freaking Celine Dion not really but I would like to think that I did anyways uh, so yeah it kinda like gives you that little um, bonus of manipulating like like kind of um, toning your voice uh, overall I'd give it a 7 just because it has like tons it has the capabilities of doing so much with it, but I haven't figured it out, and I got frustrated. And I'm pretty sure if you don't know what you're doing, you're probably going to get frustrated. Um, but there are several. Just go to Google. Like, Google is your best friend. Like just go there, and you'll find tons of crap on how to synthesize your voice and stuff like that. Kind of like um, tone it and what kind of level of... Uh, um, manipulations you want to use like the slew and the depth and the speed and this one is pretty cool the center uh, you can actually be talking and you can tell like a ship, ship monk and just by turning you have like several different uh, tones that you can work with uh, manipulations that you can work with now you do get the keyboard where each of the key press you get like a different kind it kind of goes through the vertebrae of the uh, keyboard so that's like a bonus right there and um, you can record if you go to your tape deck you'll be able to record up to eight tapes export them um, if you export them like if like little cool graphics but if you export you can export through mail export through your iTunes or simply let me just go ahead exporting to pasteboard which hmm, I haven't actually found why the the point of pasteboard but 
Um, if y'all know, just leave a comment in the in the description. Now, that's it. Uh, each recording that you do, that you record, you can actually play it back and manipulate it your way and keep working with it until you get it just right, which is bonus. You don't have to keep repeating everything, everything over again. Um, and that's it. Let me see. Oh, it gives you the option to export in WAV or M4A, which um, <clears throat> WAV is like more basic, but... Uh, if y'all like experience it that way, then just go for it, I guess. Has uh, high registry, low registry, depending on what tone you're going for or what kind of like uh, effect you want. Now, if we get out of this, I guess that's basically it. Mm. Yep, that's basically it. Uh, this is, like I said before, it's the App Store for four ninety nine. Check it out if you like it. Overall, I give it a 7. Um, if you found some things that I didn't mention or some things that I was wrong about, feel free to leave in the uh, uh, comments in the comment box down below. Um, just don't be rude, please. Uh, that's it. Don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe. Y'all have a good day. Thank mm -hmm. you.